A few years ago when I was in clinic, I overheard a conversation that a patient was having with one of our clinic nurses. He had had surgery and was feeling some shortness of breath. This patient was a former professional basketball player. He was in his 40s at the time and was very healthy. When I overheard that conversation, I thought, he needs to be evaluated for a pulmonary embolism. And we recommended that he go and seek that evaluation, and sure enough, he had a pulmonary embolism. That's a life-threatening problem that can occur in a fraction of the patients after surgery, but boy, it's scary to think about anybody having an operation and then facing a pulmonary embolism undetected and having a, a mortality from that. Over the course of the next several months, I carefully thought through how we would prevent and catch problems after surgery such as pulmonary embolism. And we eventually came to the conclusion that a post-surgical aftercare program would be a solution. So let's talk a little bit about why I think a post-surgical aftercare program is a reasonable thing to do, why we like it, and why we do it in our patients. Some patients that are going to, in for surgery, especially some of the less invasive, more minor surgeries, wonder why we would recommend a nurse or a physical therapist to meet with them in the home after surgery. I really like the eyes and ears in the home in the post-operative period to detect and pick up on any probable post-surgical problems. These problems could include DVT or PE, which stand for deep venous thrombosis and pulmonary embolism, two of the most significant problems that can happen in the post-surgical period. Other problems could be early wound issues, significant pain control issues, urinary tract infections, and other kinds of medical problems. I like that patients that enroll in the post-surgical aftercare program have somebody to check in on them. A lot of times, too, patients have questions after they've been through the emotional roller coaster of being signed up for surgery and then undergoing the operation and then getting home. It's like, oh my goodness, I didn't ask this question, or what about this, or what about that? The people that work with us in the post-surgical aftercare program are there to help with the ongoing education to answer those questions and to help the patients feel like there's somebody there to reach out to if they are having a problem. A final reason is that, well, it's really two reasons. One is I think we can lower our length of stay in the hospital by having somebody in the home after surgery. That's important because for one, during COVID, hospitals have been very full, so lowering our length of stay is nice for the community at large. There are risks to being in the hospital for extended period of time. Also, it's expensive. Sometimes patients will discharge to a skilled nursing facility, and we have wonderful skilled nursing facilities in our community. However, skilled nursing facility care is also expensive, and the patients still have to transition to being home. The post-surgical aftercare program can help them transition to being home in a safe and effective way sooner, and I really like that. I think that in some cases, it's probably a little bit of overkill to have every patient enrolling in a post-surgical aftercare program. But if we catch, and we do, early DVT and PE situations, and if we catch wounds that need a little tender loving care early on, it's worth it. Also, that feeling of having someone that you're connecting with and can answer those questions that you may have not understood going into surgery, uh, I think is a very valuable thing.